All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video in the whole rebuild series of videos for my 2020 Seaforce 500. We're actually going to take and do a whole refresh on the clutch system for this 500. We've also, we're going to be installing a stage three MSC mud kit. I don't know what's in this one. I think I, this was back before when I was kind of <laughs> doing my own experimenting and stuff. So we're going to actually put in the good stuff, uh, stage three, uh, mud kit from MSC. We're also going to be replacing a few wearable items and listen, you can get all of these parts at main street cycle and get it at mainstreetcycle.com. We're also going to put on a brand new OEM belt. This is the CF moto belt. And uh, we've got a couple options for you on that as well. We're just going to get everything apart and then we're going to show you each item that we're going to replace. And we're going to inspect the sheaves on it as well and make sure everything is nice and fresh. And it's going to have that better power. Going to apply the power to the ground better with these bad boys with this new mud kit. Also, we do have in stock the Stage 3 Trail Kit. So if you're running like stock tires or a little bit bigger all-terrain tire and you do a lot of trail riding some road riding cruising all that but you want the best of the best you want to get the msc stage three trail kit but me i think y'all have talked me into it i'm going to do some pretty good mud riding since i got snorkeled i got the big xt3 uh no these are xm 310s so i'm going with the msc stage three mud kit so anyways joel let's get to it all right so we got the nut off of there pulley looks pretty good huh mm -hmm. there's no grooves there's one, there. one one groove down in the bottom of it but it's not terrible so uh you can replace the whole sieve we got those all you get, all you do is go to the oem tab at mainstreetcycle.com and uh you can replace everything you want really but uh that's good enough for me we'll clean it up good and uh we're going to replace a few items on that we're going to take off the rest of this all right also to spread these secondaries apart you can get one of these tools at mainstreetcycle.com and uh, makes that pretty easy we'll inspect our secondary couple of things we're going to replace on there but not too much i mean these cv tech clutches are they're awesome they're bulletproof good stuff but there are a couple of things that we can replace to make it nice and fresh all right so we just took our ramp plate off and we're going to now put some new weight containers there uh, those can wear right there at the top. Not very much though. And they'll melt right here. And, and yeah, right down there at the bottom where, they, where they're sliding up and down here. And, and as the weight is pushed out, centrifugal force causes it to push the ramp plate out. Those items wear a little bit. So we'll just clean this down here. Okay, we'll clean that nice, make it nice and pretty. And uh, we are actually, yeah, you only have to take the weights out because we're going to replace that. So uh, we're going to replace that whole thing there with some new weight containers. And you can get these at MainStreetCycle.com. It'll be, matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll put a link down in the description uh, where you can get to these parts a little quicker. But it is easy to find within the OEM uh, tab of MainStreetCycle.com. So we're putting our new weights in, got our new containers, and then also there's another part that we'll replace here in just a second. All right, now we're gonna change these slides. And this is actually what causes most people's rattle. When it gets in here and wears out, you can hear that one doing it just a little bit. But just rattling back and forth right there. All right, so we're gonna replace those. got new ones here and again I'll try to have these down in the description if anything I'll at least get the uh, part of the page where you can uh, 
go within it and find each clutch item. I'll have a link to the clutch page on the OEM section for the 500. All right, so Joel just taking some parts cleaner, brake cleaner, just spraying that out and uh, we'll clean that out good and uh, we'll be ready to rock. We'll inspect the slider area and then we can put everything back together. All right, so we're just gonna put the weights back in. Make sure they're right. I have seen people put them in there like Yeah, that please, the please do not do that. <laughs> put them in That's right. Yes, that's it. Oh yeah. All right, now we're good to go. All right, so now we're just simply putting our secondary into this device that you can also get at Main Street Cycle to uh, be able to take your secondary apart, and that is to either change the helix for a stage three, change the secondary spring, uh, which is right here. And uh, we're gonna be doing that, but before we completely go back with it, there is uh, one item that we're gonna change out on it, and uh, that's these right here that the helix rides on. Those can wear out. These actually, just from looking right here, don't look bad, but we're gonna go ahead and freshen this dude up and uh, it's gonna be doing good. All right, so typical right here, just taking it apart and uh, we're gonna be able to change everything out, loosen it all the way up. Yeah, yeah, there's some flat spot action there. And that's why we're gonna go ahead and change it. Let's see if I can get the focus. Yeah. But that's really, that is not bad. Not bad at all. So that's nothing to stress about there. Let's get the focus. Nothing to stress about, but like I said, for sake of the video, we're gonna go ahead and change that out. All right, so we're simply just taking this part out here. What what do we need there, Joel? A T20. A T20 bit. star bit. I'm gonna take these out. And there's three of them. So we just take them out, just wedge them out. Might have to kind of pry them up, but that's all. Again, we're gonna clean this up and put our new ones in. All right, so we're simply just putting these back in and then we'll carefully thread down our screws here. And no real science or engineering to this, just get them back down and tighten them up. But they go all the way down the washer hits the edge of the actual clothes. Yep, and then that's it. It doesn't need to be dog tight, okay? No need to try to strip these out. That's it. All right, and then we'll go back on with our stage three clutch. So we're going back to B position with our secondary spring. This is the MSC stage two spring. And we're actually gonna put this in B1 for my setup with the, this is our mud helix for the C-Force 500. Joel using his brute strength here. And we're gonna tighten her down. And hey, while we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and show you again. We still have a lot of people that are doing this on their own, and, and that's awesome. We want you to be able to do it. Um, so we wanna make sure that you do this right because people are having issues uh, when they reclock it the wrong way. So you gotta make sure you turn this the right way. And what he's doing right now is he's simply lining up the keyway. And he'll line that up first, get his key inserted in the keyway. Notice he's trying to get all that done now instead of trying to line it up all at the top. And then we're going to take it down just a little bit and then watch this right here. This is important. See how he turned this clockwise, okay? This top piece should turn clockwise. Now if you turn, we've seen people actually turn it the other way and that is unbinding the spring which is going to cause a belt slip, uh, belt slip jerking action uh, it's just going to act crazy so you got to make sure you do that step right there correctly so anyways that's just free information there we're going to put our clip back in and then loosen it back up 
and then she'll be set. All right, we've got some uh, pretty good wear, <laughs> a lot of wear actually, on this belt, just from them big old tires that we did we have on the back. Well, I mean, not those, but we have those. And uh, it, it wasn't slipping; it was still very smooth and stuff. There's no glaze spot, so just some wear. And like I said, we're gonna go ahead and change it out. So we'll keep this as a spare, and uh, we'll put a fresh new OEM belt on it. Those things are awesome. We also have an Ultimax option that you can put on. All right, so secondary is inserted now, and uh, we're now gonna take and put the uh, our clutch kit in, our primary spring. Uh, now, with our kit, you're gonna get a washer there, and uh, that has to go into the retainer cup first. Also, make sure that this washer is in place as well. This this one here, make sure that is there. Two. Yeah, there's two actually. Metal and plastic, metal goes first. There you go. And then plastic. And then we're gonna put the spring in and then line up our primary and we're gonna be good to go now. So, I'm gonna push that in then put our washer on, line that up. It new is ones not don't have this though. right. New it's ones are one. different. This is an old style because this is an older model. So if you're watching this, I hope that the people that are watching this are just guys like me with an older bike that is wanting to freshen up their machine. So tighten that down. This was a 30 right here on the primary. Secondary is a what, 32 or 30, 36. And then we got an 18 millimeter here. All right, yeah, my bad a while ago. That's a 36 on the secondary. So, all right, we're good to go now. Now we're gonna break in the belt nice and easy. And uh, simply no big formula on that, just you don't want to go hammering on it. You want to drive it nice and easy around the yard, around your property. Uh, let it get up to operating temperature. Vary your RPM, but don't hold it wide open. And then go back, let it cool all the way down. And then go out, do it again. Run it, get up to operating temperature. 15 minutes or so, just riding it around. Let it cool back down and then pretty much good from there all right so that's going to do it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope that this was helpful for any of you guys who have an older cf moto whether it's one year old two year old or, or even older like this one's three years old um so we want to keep you running in tip top shape so we're going to be able to do that for you right there at mainstreetcycle.com uh you can get your oem parts freshen it up you can spice things up by getting a clutch kit, uh, MSC stage one, two, or three, and uh, have your machine running great. I'm actually going to be putting the MSC tune in this one. I'm excited about that and excited to see how she performs. Actually getting it ready for this weekend. Going to go and have some fun on the 500. So be watching the channel make sure you subscribe if you're not a subscriber always comment if you watch my videos it helps me out a ton uh the more interaction the better but uh as you can see it's getting late joel's out of here i gotta get out of here god bless you as always remember to keep it real we'll see you in the next one